Hi, thank you for joining us today. My name is Yvonne Sullivan and I'm founder and educator at Beauty Training Harrow Fast Track Training Centre. Today I would love to share with you professional manicure in five easy steps. They say that a bad workman will always blame his tools. Here at Beauty Training Harrow we believe that achieving the perfect finished result lies largely with using the best possible tools available. To achieve the perfect manicure or professional manicure, we use a cuticle nippers, a cuticle pusher, a straight edged nail cutters and an assortment of files. To use our cuticle nippers, it's important the size, the shape and what it does for you. This one in particular, which we have sourced for you, is really comfortable to hold. It's got a very sturdy, secure hold when you're working. It has a really sharp pointed edge, which is important for precision cutting and giving a really superior cut to your cuticles. Always apply cuticle remover or softener to your cuticle before you use this instrument. When you're using it, please avoid use pulling action or tugging. What you really need to do is think of it as a mini scissors and you're cutting methodically in one straight line. We've got the cuticle pusher, which is an essential to any manicurist tool. So it's really important for you that it does the task and the job that you need it to do very efficiently. You need to separate the cuticle from the nail plate and to do so you need it to work efficiently for you. What you need to do then is once you've separated the cuticle from the nail plate, you need to scoop out any old debris any dust, anything that may be harboring underneath so that it frees the area. And when it comes to doing your nail polish application, you will see perfect pristine results. The reason I use a straight edged cutter is it just seems to give a much better finish to your nail and you're less likely to damage somebody's nails or to take too much. We use an assortment of nail files and it really is important which nail file you use on, on different nails. They go by what are called grits, okay? So we have from very fine, if you think of sandpaper where it can be very fine to very rough, it's the same with nail files. So you need to be careful which one you use on your nails not too much friction and always when you're working on hand nails it goes from side to center on toenails it's always straight across to avoid ingrowing toenails 